Welcome. Welcome to The Late Show, everybody. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Well, we have reached... Thank you. I feel the same way about you. Well, I have, uh, I have uh, gone through a lot of thoughts today. It's been a, it's been a historic day. History. We have reached a milestone as a nation. And it's not just that the president fired the head of the FBI, okay? No, here's the milestone. We've apparently elected a president who truly does not care what anything looks like. <laughs> Which is surprising for a guy whose actual face we've never seen. <laughs> now, no idea. Man. Okay, Man. now, uh, nope. firing uh, Jim Comey, head of the FBI, really feels like authoritarianism 101. Which, by the way, a very difficult class. The professor <laughs> is a total Nazi. <laughs> Yeah, so strict. So strict. He's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. The question is, why did Trump do it? Now, while it looks like Donald Trump fired James Comey to stop the Russian investigation, that is why. <laughs> because I'm pretty confident. Because one thing we've learned from the last two years of Donald Trump is that what it seems like he's doing is exactly what he's doing. <laughs> There's no grand strategy. He's not... He's not... He's not right. some puppet master. Right. He's not some wizard playing three-dimensional chess. He's playing Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> he's just slapping till he gets all the marbles. Mine, 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 mine. There's nothing deeper going on. He's a baby pool. You could not get your ankles wet in Donald Trump. <laughs> now, the word is, Trump has been planning to fire Comey for at least a week, right? Now, and he evidently asked Attorney General Jeff Sessions to come up with reasons to fire him. <laughs> so that's why the Department of Justice is now the Department of Justification. <laughs> Apparently, over at uh, DOJ, Over at DOJ, apparently that job fell to Deputy Attorney General and man staring at you from the produce section, <laughs> Rod Rosenstein. Hi. Hey. The name's Rod. Yes, recently divorced. Hi. And the best reason uh, Rosenstein could come up with is, I cannot defend the director's handling of the conclusion of the investigation of Secretary Clinton's emails. Okay. So they're claiming Trump fired Comey for how he treated Hillary Clinton. I mean, that makes sense. We all remember his rallies when the crowds chanted, treat her fairly, treat her fairly. And that would certainly explain Trump's new T-shirt. Everybody, very big of him. Very generous, very big of him. Now, everybody was shocked by this, uh, especially the shocky. Because Comey found out he was fired during a meeting when a television in the background flashed the news. <laughs> well, that's certainly on brand, because firing people on TV is Trump's qualification for being president. <laughs> now, at first... <laughs> at first, Comey, and this is true, did not take the news seriously, reportedly saying he thought it was a fairly funny prank. James Comey, you didn't just get pranked, you got... Trump! 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 Has a nice touch. Of course, uh, that wasn't the end of it. Uh, Donald Trump eventually did send a letter, quote, while I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I am not under investigation, I nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Department of Justice that you are not able to effectively lead uh, the Bureau. <laughs> Did you catch that? He's saying this is not about the Russia investigation in a letter firing Comey for the Russia investigation. That is clever. That is like carving your alibi on the murder weapon. <laughs> Hold on one second. Not Donnie's gun. <laughs> I think the maid did it. Sad. <laughs> Build the wall. <laughs> so, Comey has been fired. Or as Fox News put it, 
James Comey resigns. <laughs> Easy mistake. Easy mistake. Resign. Obviously, Fog of war, it's easy to get things wrong on a breaking story. I mean, who can forget the New York Herald's headline, Lincoln commits suicide. <laughs> but, too soon? <laughs> but, despite Comey's firing, Maine Senator Susan Collins is certain that the Russian investigations will continue. Well, the president didn't fire the entire FBI. Don't give him any ideas, <laughs> dummy. I can do that? Could I do that? Mm -hmm. the Tell them to turn their TVs on. The but the this investigation is not going to go away quietly. Comey's firing is historically unprecedented, with one possible exception. Well, some are comparing Comey's firing to Richard Nixon's 1973 Saturday Night Massacre. President Nixon wanted the special prosecutor investigating Watergate. Archibald Cox fired. There are so many Watergate comparisons. Reminiscent of Watergate. Echoes of Watergate. The whole echo of Watergate is very strong here. Yes, listen closely, children, and you can hear the echo of Watergate. I am not a crook! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's my Nixon. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you who does not buy the Nixon comparison, uh, the Nixon Library. Because yesterday they tweeted, fun fact, President Nixon never fired the director of the FBI. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Here, uh, fun fact, that's the Nixon Library's only fun fact. <laughs> rest of it's kind of sad. Uh, hey, you know who else was shocked? Uh, Donald Trump. Because both sides of the aisle have been mad at Comey over the years, so White House officials believed Comey's firing would be a win-win. Why would Trump think this is a win-win? Even his election was lose-win. Now, the president knows, because he didn't get the majority vote. Now, the president knows. <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be flashcards later, footnotes, everything. The entire monologue's online with just links. Now, the president, the president knows eventually all his critics will come around tweeting, Comey lost the confidence of almost everyone in Washington, Republican and Democrat alike. When things come down, they will be thanking me. All right. How should we thank him? How should we thank him? We should get him something special. How about a special prosecutor? <laughs> now, wrap it up. Hey, little bow. Hey, now, as usual, as usual, Trump's spokespeople scrambled to clean up the mess. They even rehydrated Kellyanne Conway. <laughs> Moisture. So leave her in a dish for about a half an hour. She's like those dinosaur sponges. So, so she could go on CNN to talk to a disbelieving Anderson Cooper. Watch his eyes. You're conflating two things that don't belong together. Thanks for the trip down memory lane. I was on your show often last fall saying we were going to win Michigan and how we were going to do it. So that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you catch that? He couldn't possibly show more contempt than that. <laughs> Wait, I'm being told that he can. I was on your show often last fall saying we were going to win Michigan and how we were going to do it. So that was fun. But here's what happened today. Today, not in a campaign, in the White House. It's, a con it's, it's just a, con it's a confluence of events. What, what Mr. Rosenstein says is so important. He says, quote, the FBI's reputation and credibility have su suffered substantial damage. Quote, I cannot defend the director's handling of the conclusion of the investigation of Secretary Clinton's emails. Quote, the FBI director is never empowered to supplant federal prosecutors and assume command of the Justice Department. Quote, we do not hold press conferences to release derogatory information about the subject of a declined criminal investigation. He also says... Of course. Thank you, Anderson. He's a good man. Good man.
Of course, no Trump catastrophe would be complete without a cameo from press secretary and original boss baby, Sean Spicer. <laughs> Last night, uh, Spicer was heading into his office, but he couldn't get there without running into a throng of reporters, so he hid in the bushes to avoid answering their questions. Are they still out there? <laughs> hey, I found Reince Priebus' Frisbee. <laughs> so, get it. So, why did this really happen? Evidently, Trump got angry that the Russia investigation wouldn't disappear. Not only uh, would the Russia investigation not disappear, just a few days ago, Comey reportedly asked the Justice Department for a significant increase in money and personnel for the Bureau's investigation. Ooh, I wonder why. I love a good mystery. In this case, it's Nancy Drew in the case of the blatantly obvious motive. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.